This is Twit. Todd in Torrance, California is next. Hello, Todd. Hi, Leo. Thanks for taking my call, and also thank you, Kim. Oh, yes, she's wonderful. <laughs> hey, so I'm a, a Project Fi user. I love it uh, as a service for somebody who's not uh, reliant on streaming a lot of cell data. Yep. But on that same token, I'm, I'm also, uh, I also like to find ways to uh, work around cell data. So I, I love the FM re- receiver chip in our phones. And I even actually carry a transistor radio with me sometimes in my backpack. But uh, which phone? Why. Which phone has an FM receiver chip that you're using? Uh, well, I got their latest one because I had the Nexus 5X, but this is the the, the Pixel, Moto. The, oh, the Motorola. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that has but a I'm that also, has a FM radio. A lot of so yeah. this was a FM radio is kind of a freebie from the point of view of the manufacturers. They get it with the Qualcomm chipset in most cases. Mm-hmm. But most, but many manufacturers don't turn it on, or even in the case of Apple, don't because they disable the silicon, and the and I think they do it because the phone carriers don't like it. They say you can listen to free radio and do exactly what you do, save data. We don't like that. Right. <laughs> we want you to use data so we can charge you for it. So it's my guess that's why in the U.S. In fact, the National Association of Broadcasters has a big push to get FM radios back into phones. I mean, they, their excuse is it's for safety, and that's for sure. If the cell towers are down and the power is out and nothing's working, at least you can get a radio station on your phone. That's pretty right. cool. Uh, but I don't know, uh, you know, obviously the NAB represents radio stations, so they like it. I, You know, I don't I don't see any movement towards putting radios back in phones in the U.S. Except what for about them. What about the AM chip? I mean, I, I would love to just uh, tune into... AM six forty. I would too, and you know, uh, you know, KFI would like it, but uh, AM or an AM antenna is a little bit more complicated of a device. The FM antenna, most of these phones use your headphones as the antenna, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, so because that's FM will work with a wire. Uh, AM is at such a uh, low frequency. Let's see, it's in megahertz. Let's see, FM's in megahertz. AM's in kilohertz. So it's a lot lower. So you need a lot longer wire. So AM radios, if you look inside, they have a coil for the antenna. And I think that that's that's my guess, and I'm sure some ham will call me or radio engineer will call me and explain (laughs) this. But my guess is the reason you don't see AM radios in phones is because it's hard to get good reception. You you, you, you can't put a coil radio inside a phone, a a coil antenna, obviously, inside of a phone. So, um, you know... The phone, the, the carriers want you to use, and I don't think, I don't know if Google's this way or not, the, but I I don't know. But the, the, Google and AT&T and Verizon and T-Mobile, and well, they don't like you to use iHeartRadio to listen. And that way you use data, everybody wins. Yeah, and that's just one of those things where I, I don't want to be strapped down mm-hmm. to using iHeart for everything. And then yeah, also- no, I understand. I, it's yeah. great to have a radio in your phone. The other problem with AM is it's a little more, I don't have an AM radio on my Tesla either, and Tesla says it's because it's more susceptible to the noise from the electric motors, and maybe there's enough noise inside a phone that uh, an AM radio would sound bad. Uh, so it could be okay. one of those two things. Yeah, there was just there wasn't much on the internet as to why there wasn't an AM receiver in phones, but y- you explained it. Well, I'm guessing, and you're not going to see you're going to see fewer and fewer phones with FM. Uh, the you know. Remember, President Trump said he wanted Apple to put uh, radios back in their phones, and Apple said. He said, why do they turn off the radio on their phones? And Apple said, we never turned them off. They never were there. (laughs) (laughs) Apple designs its own silicon and I guess doesn't need to put it in there. So, oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, thank thank you very much. My pleasure. My pleasure. I like it. I'm a radio fan. I like it. Uh, The good news is you can go out, of course, and buy C-Crane and others sell little portables, tiny little portable radios the size of a an iPod you could you could carry around with you. It's interesting though. I, I don't have a, a AM radio in my car. They phased out the cassette player a long time ago. There's no CD player either. Really, the way Teslas and I suspect this is true of other electric vehicles are designed is that stream. They want you to stream. Get your audio via Bluetooth on your phone, or you know, many cars now have uh, LTE or 3G built into the car and get it that way. That's what they want you to do. Makes every, and then everybody wins except us. <laughs> everybody wins except the consumer.
you know, we got to got to make a living. Got to make money. Companies companies got to get rich. <sighs> oh well. 8888 uh, ask Leo that's the phone number. I think there are elect some electric vehicles with AM radios. I think so. I think this I think it's completely possible to shield it.